Hi, dear all. Uh, today, I am going to take up an interesting aspect regarding how to clear a group in a professional exam. <coughs> and I am also going to answer uh, certain doubts regarding whether to take one group at a time or both groups at a time. This is one of the common issues with many students face. Let me first take up uh, students who want to appear for one group at a time. Typically, uh, either you take uh, from the foundation level, foundation level, intermediate level, final level, whatever name each institute may have, irrespective of that. If you are planning to clear a group of four papers, then what you should do? Typically, uh, any exams for that matter, uh, four papers comprises of uh, normally uh, two practical papers and two theoretical papers or three practical papers, one theory or three, three theory papers, one practical paper, whatever uh, might be the combination. What you need to do is uh, uh, try to ensure that uh, you prepare well equally for all the papers, no doubt. But you need to make sure that at least in two subjects, you need to get 60 plus. What does it mean? It means that I need to give equal importance for all the subjects, whether it's theory or practice. And at the same time, make sure that in the exam, out of four, definitely, out of four subjects, definitely, two could help me out in securing 60% plus. Already I have told you that, don't uh, uh, tell that, no, I want to focus more on practical papers, I want to focus more on theory papers. It actually doesn't help. So you need to give equal importance. In fact, I would go to the extent of saying that theory papers will help you better than a practical paper. Uh, considering the fact that... Uh, uh, in practical papers, they can ask you any type of a question, which probably you may not be familiar with. But theory mostly, it is something what you are already familiar with. So, you have an advantage in equipping yourself well in a theory paper and uh, it will help you better than a practical paper. I can also quote it from my example, uh, my own experience as an example. So, give equal importance for all the subjects, whether practical or theory or whatever it might be. And make sure that uh, at least in two subjects you get that 60 plus so that the other two subjects, whatever it could be, managing to get 45, 50 would take you through the group. And in my own experience, I have seen that many times I have cleared groups with the help of a couple of subjects, 60 plus and other subjects being 50, 45, 52, whatever it might be. So the best way to clear a group. So you need to make sure that at least in two subjects you secure 60 plus and if not at least in one bare minimum. 60 to 70 then you can be just assured that you are clearing the group even if you manage to get 45 50 in the other papers you manage to clear the group so make your plan accordingly and make sure that in one of the subjects in a group of four papers you get 60 plus then passing is easy similarly you have to approach the other group obviously in case you ask me a question whether to appear for one group or both groups at the same time uh, my answer would be that depending on the available time, for example, you are a college going student or office goer and uh, you don't have uh, much time available with you, then you can actually go for one group at a time. Because let us be very clear, uh, we need to make sure that whatever group we are preparing, we need to prepare well and go for the exam with a reasonable confidence that we will clear the exam. Okay, So office goers, college going students, one group at a time would be okay. But it doesn't mean that uh, college goers or office goers need not or should not plan for both the groups. I'm not talking it that way. You can even plan for both groups at the same time. If you plan for both groups at the same time, there are a few advantages. Now, uh, a simple mathematical probability of writing eight papers and getting four to five subjects out of papers, uh, which you can score better and maybe three or four you are not able to do well. So again, uh, the same logic what I told you with respect to first group, where you know, at least in one subject you go score 60, 70, or at least in two subjects you score 60, 70. Same thing you uh, imagine. Uh, in first group also you score a couple of subjects 60 plus, in group two also you score in a couple of subjects 60 plus, and clearing both groups becomes easy. So uh, the probability of four papers in an eight paper, uh, both groups, uh, where you can score 60 plus is, in my experience is a little higher than in one group getting 60 plus in two subjects. So there is a distinct advantage of writing both groups. Not only that, when you write both groups, you also have an advantage of carryover. 
so if you are able to score some surplus in either group 1 or group 2 you can adjust it for a shortfall if any of the other group it's the biggest advantage so i have many students who have cleared both groups with 190 and 210 or 210 and 190 of course subject to scoring of minimum of 40 marks and all that so there is a great advantage of writing both groups provided you have time for that but when you're planning to write both groups you need to ensure that you do justice for both groups to a large extent so that's why I said if you don't have time to prepare for both groups then there's no point in just giving a try in the second group and no uh, see my view is like this if you go for an exam you should go with the uh, reasonable probability of clearing the exam okay so don't go to an exam hall uh, with the half preparedness and don't just go and think no I'll give a try no uh, see you cannot give a try in a professional exam okay the results are already not uh, that great and you are going to give a try so don't go with that attitude of giving a try Go with the attitude of, okay, I should somehow clear it. If I don't clear it, it's okay. And my suggestion sincerely to all of you, my dear students, is that uh, uh, don't look at the results when you prepare or don't think about the results when you prepare for your exams. Because the results, let it come, whatever. Okay, that's not something in our hands. There are many points which are beyond our control. So getting good results of your expectation is welcome, but... I don't think anybody would think I'll clear and I'll clear and uh, uh, so you can't imagine what will happen to you as a result. So don't worry about the results. You prepare. You go for the exams. You do your best and let the results come. Now, as I already said, if you are well prepared and reasonably well prepared and going for the exams and you have a fair chance of clearing the exam, only you should go for the exam. Don't go for the exam with no half preparedness. That will uh, slowly, slowly kill your confidence because... Uh, later what happens is you know, when you go for the exam subsequently you know, subconsciously you know, it uh, reduces your confidence level you may not be aware of it first time you wrote a group not well prepared you didn't clear second time you are writing the same group then it builds a pressure on you that you may not be aware of uh, so it happens subconsciously uh, so then uh, slowly you lose your confidence and uh, I have observed many students that even if they plan for one group uh, they find that one group becoming difficult for them so, uh, I always used to say this, no, like, you know, if you think both groups is tough and you switch over to one group, then one group becomes tough. That's a psychological impact you may have. So, there's no point in just, uh, you know, backing out of two groups and just uh, focusing on one group at a time, just because you are scared of writing both groups. No, not, uh, need not get scared and all that. So, plan for both groups, you have adequate time, prepare well, right from beginning, make up your mind. There are many students who are rank holders who are all preparing for both groups and writing both groups at a time. So take examples from them. See, uh, okay. So uh, my suggestion for all of you would be that if possible, if you have time at your disposal, plan for both groups. If not, plan for one group at a time. No problem on that. And um, prepare well in a way that you are able to score 60 or 70 plus in a subject or in a paper so that it takes care of the aggregate. So this is what I thought I should suggest to my students and all of you who are planning to write one group at a time or both groups or contemplating what to do, particularly for November exam goyas uh, and December exam goyas and November and December exam goyas. You need to be sure that no, uh, you, you have uh, uh, proper preparation done at your end uh, and still have time. So prepare well and uh, take a positive decision. One group or two group is okay, but prepare well for that group. Okay, so do, do justice to that group. Okay, uh, so this is what I thought I'd quickly share with all of you. And as usual, if you've got any doubts in this, uh, you can uh, just, uh, uh, our uh, contacts are available in our website www.guruscoaching.com. Uh, I, I, as you may be aware, uh, uh, I am always there for your uh, support. So kindly contact me and uh, I definitely help you out in uh, anything which are uh, like whether to choose one group or two groups or whatever it is, I can help you out. Okay, Feel free to reach me and my request to all of you is uh, uh, you know, um, take these points uh, uh, in the right spirit and apply it and try to uh, clear the exams in flying colors. Okay, All the very best. Uh, take care. Bye.